you so much. Uh, it's very, very nice to see you here. Yeah, we'll make sure these guys have uh, front row, front row seats here. Who, who did you, who did you bring with us tonight? Well, I brought Mr. H, who's my mascot, and I brought Steve, who's Disney Nature's mascot for the new movie. <laughs> Steve, now, so Steve, uh, we, we know from Penguins. I, I don't know Mr. H's story. What's, what's? He looks fun. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. H, Mr. H was given to me 29 years ago for my birthday by a man called Gary Horn, which is why he's Mr. H. Gary l went blind at 21 in the U.S. Marines, decided to be a magician, was told that was impossible. He's so good that the kids don't know he's blind. Wow. And then he'll say, if something goes wrong in your life, don't give up. There's always a way forward. He's been with me now to 65 countries. Is that right? And he's very famous. He is. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry, Mr. H. And yes. So how could I not? Ra <laughs> how could I not? I should have said hi. I'm sorry. I didn't, yes, I didn't say hello and shake your hand. <laughs> hi, Mr. H. Thank you so much for coming on our show. We really appreciate this. Uh, um, I, I just love everything about you. Obviously, everyone here loves you. That's why you get the standing ovations and we go nuts for you. But Everything you do and uh, everything you represent, I just want to show you this because last time uh, we didn't get to, I didn't get to show you this, but in my, in my, in my house, I have a, a hallway going down the stairs uh, uh, and I have on my wall paintings of, of different portraits of people and cool people that inspire me and things that inspire me. And this is my hallway. And then uh, on the way corner over here um, is a, a painting of you. So I see you, uh, I see you every day of my life. Uh, <laughs> And uh, when I walk down the stairs uh, and I bring my kids down and I, I, I tell them who you are, they know who you are. I have a five-year-old and a four-year-old and they know who you are and they know what you do and they love you and I just want to say thank you uh, because... Well, that's terrific. They, they love you. I love you. My wife loves you. So, uh, I, and your, I, your message is going to go and live forever and ever. So thank you uh, for... <laughs> it's cool. Let's talk about... Um, I have to kiss you for that. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you so much. It means a lot. Uh, uh, can we talk about the Jane uh, Goodall Legacy Foundation? Well, the, you know, we have the Jane Goodall Institute in 34 countries. Oh my and we're working to conserve chimpanzees and their, uh, their forest habitats, but other animals too. Yeah. And the Legacy Foundation is to build up an endowment so that when I'm gone, and I'm 85, by the way. Oh, my so, God. You're yeah. 85. Uh, so, you know, when I'm gone, I want to make absolutely sure that everything I've worked for all my life will be able to carry on. Oh, my goodness. Even when I'm gone. But so, 85, and I just, I read somewhere that you're on the road 300 days out of the year. Is that... Yes, even more now, because, you know, when you get closer to the end, wherever the end is, uh, th this so much wrong with the world today and there is so much need for a message of hope because if we all lose hope then we may as well give up and we know the world's in a mess yeah. we know we've harmed the environment we know destroying the forest polluting the atmosphere polluting the ocean you know about all that yeah and you know we must take action now let's do it let's do it and let's do it now what are we waiting for yeah, what are we waiting for we won't have anything to play with I mean, all, all our young people in our youth program, Roots and Toots, in Tanzania, Roots they, and have shoots, a, absolutely. Yeah, they have a message, together we can, together we will. Yes. Yes. Right. I'm inspired by you. I, I can't even tell you. Uh, Steve is, is getting upset. He says he, he, says he wants airtime. Tell us about uh, Steve's, Steve's film. Well, Steve. I mean, the, the film that Disney Nature has made, you know, they asked me to be an ambassador for their Disney Nature films. Yeah, makes sense. And uh, so Penguins, which is now running, yes. uh, is, I think it's the best. It's absolutely amazing. And, you know, Penguins, I can't help it. They're sort of, you know, they, they walk like this. Yeah. And you just have to, and then they trip, and then they go on their tummies and zoom <laughs> along. And it's, it's just, but the photography is absolutely unbelievable and what's so magic about it they've got a camera this is about the size of the Adelie penguin and they've got a camera about this height so when you see a an orca or a leopard seal you see this huge frightening thing through the eyes of the penguin 
and it's complete magic. Isn't that wild? And there's some comic things, yeah. like you have to collect stones, rocks for your nest. Yeah. And Steve goes a bit further than he should, and he brings up these to his, to his lady love. And then he turns to get another one. Immediately, other penguins take the rock and put it in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're smart, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And Disney's doing a very cool thing. Every ticket sold during opening week this week, Disney will make a donation to the Wildlife Conservation Network. So good on you, uh, Disney, for doing that. Yeah. Absolutely. They don't, have to, they don't have to do that. It's good that they're doing that. Uh, thank you so much for being here, as always. Thank you for everything you do. Uh, you know we love you, and you can come back whenever. You can come, stay all week, and come all next week if you want to. We love you. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Steve meeting his future life partner in Penguins. Take a look. Hi, I'm Steve. Steve, meet Adeline. I can't fight this feeling any longer, and yet I'm still afraid to let it. What started out as friendship has grown stronger. I only wish I had It's more than just a beautiful courtship ritual. Steve and Adeline will use these initial moments of intimacy to memorize each other's voices. After this, they'll be able to find one another amongst the crowds forever. I mean. Dr. Jane Goodall, everybody. Go see Penguins. We're seeing theaters and IMAX now.